Now check this out. In 1993, Javier Sotomayor did what nobody can repeat to this day. He jumped over 8 feet in height. But to become the absolute champion, Javier would have to jump onto the Eiffel Tower. Confused? Eh, I can understand. Let me explain. Looking at the average human, you can't help but wonder how in the world did this soft and, let's be fair, clumsy-looking creature ever get to the point where we all rest now? We certainly aren't the apex predators here. We aren't the fastest runners. Ask cheetahs about that. We can't properly swim or fly. We don't succeed even in climbing. But somehow, we've climbed to the top rank of nature itself. But we certainly didn't jump up there. You think jumping? You think something like a kangaroo. These animals don't even walk. They hop. But boy, are they good at that. They can speed up to 44 miles per hour over short distances and on distances over a mile. They will outpace the best human athletes that ever lived. All thanks to their mighty legs. But some can also use their thick tails as a third leg to launch them high up. Kangaroos can jump over two average people standing on top of each other. You know Shaq, there's a mouse that can jump well over his head in one hop. And it's a kangaroo mouse. In a way, it's even cooler than what a kangaroo does, because it's so tiny! The kangaroo mouse owes its name to the big Australian brother, because it also moves by jumping on the two hind legs. When it jumps 9 feet high, it jumps 10 times its own body length. It can change direction however it wants with every leap. <laughs> Good luck catching this one! Moving on to the ocean, dolphins are the best jumpers here. They can jump 10 feet over the surface of the water. And there is a chance you've seen it in a dolphinarium at least once. The cool thing about dolphins is that since they live in water, they have no need to jump like that. They do it for sport and just for the fun of it, just like us. Some animals may become champion athletes simply because they live besides nasty and always hungry beasts like lions or cheetahs. Impalas certainly do, and they can leap over a small bus. Add this to the fact that they run pretty fast, and you get the idea behind that initial leap. It keeps impalas safe. And lions themselves are no joke either. Even my cat can jump right on the fridge to get to the yummy treats. Double that height, and this is how high a lion can jump. Things like that really makes you hope you never get to be in the poor impala's hooves. Mountain lions are even jumpier though. When you have to leap from cliff to cliff, and you need to catch something like a mountain goat for dinner, you know your whole life depends on every single jump you make. Mountain lions, also known as cougars and pumas, have to hop high, 20 feet high to be precise. Basically, that means pumas can jump over a giraffe's head. Now, that's some high hopping. Yet, when it comes to long jumping, there are too many cheaters. They cheat because they sort of can fly or glide. Even fish can do that. A flying fish can jump up above the water and use its fins to fly for over 40 seconds straight. Flying squirrels can glide over a football field all at once. And even flying snakes can do that by launching themselves off the trees and slithering through the air in an S-shape for over even longer distances. My judgment on that? Gliding is totally banned in this competition. It may seem that if you would jump like a frog can, you would be able to hop onto the Statue of Liberty easily. But here's a catch. We think frogs are good at hopping, because they jump really far, not high. When it comes to distance, it's around 40 to 50 times their body length. The absolute leap master, though, is the American bullfrog, which can jump over 7 feet. A frog human superhero would jump over the whole wingspan of a Boeing 747 with this ability. Now, if I learned something from cartoons, it's that you should never try to catch the roadrunner. You'll go over the cliff and splat in the canyon every time. But I also learned that rabbits are excellent at jumping. White-tailed jackrabbit, in particular, is one of the mightiest jumpers you can ever meet. The best recorded hop this fluffy, long-eared pal ever performed would make it land right on the top of a giraffe's head. Even mountain lions would learn to respect that. If a predator needs a concentrated leap to give its best jump, Rabbits would do that any second as soon as they're startled. And if I learned something else from cartoons, rabbits are easily scared. Except for Bugs Bunny. Not scared that one. Grasshoppers can make all of the previous contesters run for their money. 
Ever seen those catapults they use for legs? That's their musical instrument. But more importantly, it's a jumping machine capable of launching them from any danger. I really didn't want to get to this scary part, but spiders can jump too. And the worst thing, they can live anywhere. If you want to assure your safety from them, go to Antarctica. But seriously, they are harmless and extremely tiny and kind of cute-looking things. Their legs aren't powerful. They can just expand like pistons, launching them up to 50 times their own length. It's like having boots with springs in them. Jumping spiders sure know how to have fun. Um, barking spiders are another thing entirely. But still, it's nothing next to a frog hopper. This tiny insect jumps straight up 27 and a half inches, which is 100 times its body length. Among the insects, it's the jumpiest it possibly gets. Kangaroo with this kind of hopping power would jump on the Great Pyramid of Giza. Let's just say human athletes definitely don't stand a chance beating that. But there is one contestant that can still fight for the title of the best jumper in the world. A flea. It jumps only 10 inches high, but for something that small, it's as if a person could jump over a 250-foot-tall building or the Eiffel Tower. Its long legs allows it to jump 200 times its own body length and lift objects 150 times heavier than the flea itself. Fleas are more like space rockets than insects, because while they launch into the air, they go through a lot more acceleration force than a rocket does when taking off. And just like astronauts, they can't go on for a long time even if a tiny hole appears in their sturdy armor. Overall, fleas are yucky, but in the jumping record charts, you need to give credit where credit is due. They are the best jumpers in the whole world. But trap jaw ants can surprise even a flea. Not in how far and high they can jump, but how fast. For an outside observer, it will seem like a trap jaw ant just disappears in a fraction of a second. In reality, trap jaw ants can open their jaws 180 degrees, store a lot of energy inside their head, and then snap. When in danger, a trap jaw ant aims its head downwards and launches itself up in the air, faster than a speeding bullet. Oh, tiny plankton copepods are even more impressive than that, though they too play a bit dirty. When living in the water, they still jump through it, because being so tiny under the pressure almost bans you from conventional swimming. Fortunately, copepods have more than capable legs. They launch them forward with a velocity of 1,000 times their body length per second. It's one of the most powerful movements ever recorded in the whole animal kingdom. I guess it would still have to come out of the ocean to beat a flea in this competition, but in the water, it has no equal. Now, I don't know about you, but this whole topic is making me kind of jumpy. Yeah, I said it. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!